y'all be on some other shit It's kind of bittersweet that I fell in love with it I always felt that if I always cared about how I dress That folks would think I'm arrogant and chicks would lose interest But as it turns out, people start to notice you more You turn heads when you step and foot in the sneaker store Like where you get them, can I get them, what's the biggest size left And chicks I never would have seen What's up everybody? It's Big Roth TV, and I'm back with another sneaker video, all right? Now, I know today, in this particular weekend, was Thunder 4 weekend, and I know the hype was all around that shoe. I, I get it. I know that the hype was around that shoe, all right? I personally passed on that pair like leading up to it for a while i was like man i gotta have those because i missed them the previous release i want to say that was 2013 14 time frame i missed them back then so i was like yeah i gotta cop them now but as we got closer to the release date i said you know what i really i really don't have to have that shoe but i i know that that was the weekend's this week's big release but man you all seemed to have slept on something ridiculous all right and that something is right here look at this look at this man nike box you see it's kind of a cream colored box the cream and the red you see that man these are nuts all right these are the jordan airship pe all right pe sp all right and the colorway is summit white and dune red okay and i got these in a size 13 all right look this pair came out and then there was a pair that was the white and the blue i was unable to get the blue i wanted those two i actually wanted those a little bit more than these but i wanted to get them both i wanted to get them as a like as a pack but that that blue pair just this was hard to come by but i was lucky enough to still get this one all right so let's go ahead and get into it man I got these from Corporate Gotham. So this is the receipt for all you receipt boys. And shout out to the homie Sneaker Dave. All right. He's not the one that signed this one. But shout out to the homie Sneaker Dave at Corporate Gotham. All right. Now as we open the box, I'm going to show you all. Again, it comes with the Airship booklet. All right, Nike, Nike Inc., One Bowerman Drive, Beaverton, Oregon. All right, and this is the owner's manual for the airships. All right, just going over some of the tech specs and you know what's going on with the airship. All right, what's going on under the insole and everything. So, very nice, man. Look at that. All right, so just wanted to show you all that before we got into the shoe, but but of course, of course, you all know how I do it right here on Big Roth TV. <laughs> Whoo, this one right here, man. Let's shoe first baby Yeah Who we are y'all seeing these Are y'all seeing these man I know it looks like a white and red shoe but the materials and everything on it it's like a, 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 a suede upper on these bad boys. These are 
the Jordan Airship every game. All right, and this is the red colorway of the every game shoes. Why are these called the every games? Because Jordan wore his UNC shorts underneath his Chicago Bulls shorts every game. All right, so the blue pair were to represent his UNC days and the UNC shorts that he wore under the Chicago Bulls shorts. All right, although he was not wearing airships, you know, too far into it. But I mean, you know, that first year. Speaking of air, uh, have you all seen the air movie based on Michael Jordan and Nike's pursuit of him? That movie is great. I just watched it today on Amazon Prime. If you haven't seen it and you have Amazon Prime, make sure you go check it out. My wife, who is not even a sneakerhead, watched it with me and she enjoyed it thoroughly too. All right, so go, go check that movie out. It was a really good watch, man. But these, man, I really, when I ordered these, I did not expect to be blown away with how how much, you know, the, the material and how good these are. All right, it says, please note natural crack seen on the upper is normal due to the random crackle ink application, all right? So they're talking about the upper, the red there, it's got that crack going on. I just think that makes it looks, look even better. I wore this because it looks like an Ohio State kind of colorway. It's not just straight. When you see these online, it looks like it's straight white and red. But when you have them in person, this upper is more, it's, it's kind of a, it's a darker white. It's, it's almost a gray. This is almost a scarlet and gray Ohio State Buckeyes Jordan Nike airship. And that, oh, that, that Jordan 1 smell. Oh, they even put it in the airships. Oh, it's amazing. Here's the tongue. Nike Air on the tongue. Man. These are amazing, man. These are absolutely amazing. I love these. Did I mention that they come with the white laces here? The white laces, all right? But in the shoe, you have your red laces, all right? Take the paper out, and then you can see on the inside, you got your white insole with the red jump man. The midsole here, is kind of a cream material. Man, these are, <laughs> I can't say enough about how dope these are. Leather around the, we mentioned the cracked upper with the leather here. And then it goes all the way down the eyelets and everything there, as you all can see. And then the swoosh, the swoosh is that leather as well. Another nice touch that I like is on the bottom. You see what I'm saying? It's kind of that distressed look. It's kind of that worn in kind of look. It's not it's just the straight red. It looks like these it looks like these have been worn in a little bit. Man, these are these are amazing. These might be so far. I have three pairs of airships. As you can see, the white and the green there, and the white and the yellow here. I don't know if I ever, if I ever reviewed these. I'm not sure if I ever did. Um, probably didn't. I actually don't think I did. But if you all want to see a review on these, even if it's a short form review, leave a comment below, and I'll I'll make sure to get to that. But I think so far. I think these are my favorite of the airships, man. These, these most definitely get the. Brett the Hitman Heart Championship Belt K 
kiss of approval because these are just too sweet. And if you see these online in any of the sneaker sites, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you cop them. All right. For me, my normal size shoe that I feel comfortable buying is a 13 to 13 and a half these days, depending on the shoe. These are 13 and they fit perfect. Um, I've, I've started to go down instead of up if I can. Like 13 and a half is usually the most comfortable size for me. But in a lot of shoes like Jordan 1s and Adidas forms, a 14 might be a little big. So lately I've been going down to a 13. And actually in a lot of shoes, I, uh, I will go down to a 13 instead of um, a 14. Mostly Jordans, mostly Jordans. LeBron's are still, I still wear the 14s, but uh, Jordans lately I've been going, man, these, the materials, the materials on these. And they're cheaper than normal Jordan 1s. These, this material that is on this, this is what every time I made an Adidas forum video and I complained and I said the Adidas forums, the quality of the materials makes me so mad because they're so good and Jordan 1s charge so much more for less material, like less quality material. That's what those were, the Adidas forums materials great. These are the same. Like these, the materials on these are outstanding and they cost less than the Jordan 1s. Like why are we not, cons the Jordan 1s in comparison should be getting super amazing quality for $30 more than these. Like we should be 30 to $50 more in fact, cause wasn't the pair of Jordan ones just like $200 most recently? Like we should be getting superb quality on Jordan ones instead of what we're getting a lot of the times. All right. But man, these right here, these every games Did I mention on the inside, you have your sizing. The 13 is there, man. These are outstanding. Definitely recommend these. If you can find them, uh, go with, maybe your true size to a size half size down don't go up all right they'll fit perfectly all right but anyway that's gonna do it for these thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you have not already thank you all for watching thank you all for subscribing i truly truly appreciate it more content is on the way and i'll holler at you all in the next video. Peace.